Hi, so today is September 12th. It's a Wednesday, so a happy hump day. Um, I'm a little tipsy right now, so it's kind of like a drunk vlog times part two. Um, so today was not that exciting at school. Um, I did my first curriculum with my after school class grade fifth and sixth low proficiency levels. Um, I was kind of nervous because I didn't want to do just like vocab and like basic uh, words. I want to actually have a theme going on. And one thing that I noticed in Korea is that they teach their kids a lot and they, they're definitely a lot, I would say, they're a lot harder working than our kids back home. But um, did I say I'm tipsy? I don't know if I did or not, but I am. Sorry. So I'm, not, I'm, sure, I'm sorry if I'm rambling or if I'm not making sense. Um, but uh, so yeah, so I noticed that um, back at home when I was a kid in elementary school, we always had little projects. So it would be like, this month we're focusing on Greek civilization. This month we're focusing on Roman civilization. This month we're focusing on Canadian history. So um, every time after a theme or unit was done, we have a book to take home that would have like, our pictures and our worksheets in it. And I noticed that Korea doesn't really have that. So I thought it'd be cool to give that to my after school class um, kids. So for um, my after school class, I made them like, a little passport. And then each class, each week, we go, we go visit a different country. So today was Canada. So I set the scene with them in Korea, and then they flew to Canada, and I told them about like the animals, the foods, the people, how big it is, the languages. And I'm not sure if they understood er everything I said, but when I played the game after to, uh, to, uh, to um, see if they under understood, um, sorry, if they were uh, paying attention, they knew the answer. So hopefully it was good. Next we can think I'm doing France, so that will be fun. Um, and after work, I, it's Wednesday, so um, as I told you before in a previous vlog, I'm part of the badminton uh, team's staff, staff team, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, and today there was a badminton competition at our school, and then the best boy, he's actually one of my classes, and me and my co-teacher went to see him, and his, his parents went and they made posters for him, which was really cute, and then he actually won. Well, he was actually part of a doubles team, but he was definitely the superstar. So that was like really exciting to watch. It was nice to see like all the parents and all the kids go crazy. I love seeing that uni unity in elementary school. Um, so then after, I went to my uh, staff badminton team. Uh, playing for a bit, I was actually going to leave because I felt really tired. I, I've been staying up late, been a night owl, um, but I stayed until like maybe um, six, seven o'clock. And then um, I got invited to go out with a bunch of the badminton people uh, for dinner and drinks. Um, and that was exciting for me because it was my first time um, going out with uh, Korean people without my co-teacher or without someone that knew English and Korean. So their English is as good as my Korean, which is like four words, five phrases. Um, so I went for dinner with them. We had fish stew. Um, it was interesting. I've, I love fish, but I've never seen that part of fish before. Um, we had beer, of course. Um, I turned red, hence I'm kind of drunk right now. I don't know if you can tell that I'm red. Um, and then after, I thought we were going to go home, but then we, they just brought me to a bar. So we kept drinking. And then I had to walk home. Luckily, I found my place. Um, they walked me, they, uh, some of them walked me uh, almost the whole way home, but they don't live near me, so I didn't expect them to do that. And yeah, so that was a cool experience. My first Korean event where I didn't know any Korean and they didn't know English um, and yeah so yeah that's pretty much it that's all I want to say oh and also um, there's a guy in the staff who I think is kind of good looking I don't like him obviously but he's pretty good looking and then I never really talked to him yet because I he doesn't know English I don't know Korean so we've never really talked um, and then today after badminton practice I walked into a room and he was naked so that was probably a good icebreaker to get to know someone so yeah um, tomorrow I'm working again. I'm super excited. I love Thursday in my Friday classes. Um, and then I'm going with my co-teacher and a Korean friend for dinner. I'm going to shop for rain boots because fall is coming and probably a winter jacket. So yeah, that's pretty much right now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!